Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, um, I'm actually taking some time and answering some of the questions that you guys have posted up on my uh, Mac OS X 10.10 uh, Yosemite review that I did for you guys a while back. I think two days ago, about three days ago. And uh, a bunch of you guys have been going back and forth, having conversations. I've been having conversations with you guys. Uh, and you've been uh, leaving questions. And I said to myself, let's make a video and answer these things for you guys. So the first question, uh, I'm not going to say the name, uh, but you do see it at the bottom of the video right here of who is uh, the person that wants the, the answer. And they want to know if Finder and Yosemite includes tabs or not. And it, they do. They actually do. They haven't uh, removed that feature at all, as you can see. So I'm super excited that that's still there. Uh, I think tabs were brought out in uh, Mavericks or Lion. I'm not too sure. But they haven't removed it from this version of Apple. Uh, the next question is, I'm pretty excited for the upgrade. But if it hasn't been released yet, how did you get it? Well, uh, it's two ways that you can actually get this release. One, you're part of the developer's uh, Mac program, which is going to cost you $100 for a year. Or if you're part of the Apple Apple Seed program, and they're going to invite you, and then you get your copy, uh, that's how you get it. Now, the next question is, can you run Adobe CS6 or... CC, which is Creative Cloud Suite. Now, uh, I, I couldn't get my hand on version six, Creative Suite six, but I have something a little better for you. And um, I, I, I'm actually logged in as myself within my Adobe account. And I was trying to download Photoshop CC, and look what happens. Uh, you're running an operating system that Photoshop no longer supports. Refer to the system requirements below for a full list of supported platforms. If you go to the system requirements, it only gives you 10.7, 10.8, and 10.9, only 64-bit, which sucks. So, yeah, that kind of answers your question. It doesn't look like Creative Suite doesn't work. I don't really know if uh, Creative Suite 6 is going to work, but if someone out there is testing that out, let me know. The next question is, can I update it through App Store directly, or do I need to go to the Mac Store? Now, you could do it to the App Store. Uh, but within the app store, you have to have a redeem code. Without the re redeem code, it won't show the download for you. Uh, but again, if you're part of the Apple Seed program or the developer program, they're going to give you the redeem code. And there's a link that will take you directly to the app store and download it for you. Or you can copy and paste the redeem within the app store. Uh, the next question is, can someone find me the file to download without being a paid member of Apple? Um I can't really give you this information because uh, the way that they authenticate the download is by your uh, developer's account. Whatever email address you are using, that's how they kind of authenticate the download. There's already uh, a lot of people downloading torrents. You could try to do that. I know there's been, uh, I've seen torrents out there with DMG files of uh, the operating system already configured in a way that you don't need to authenticate it. So that's your best luck. I don't really advise it, but hey, go for it. Uh, the next question is, is the dashboard still there or removed? The dashboard is still there, uh, but the dashboard looks a little different um, than Mavericks. I think uh, on the dashboard, you had like all the Mac apps and all that stuff. That's not there anymore. So, it's, so the dashboard is there. Uh, the next one is, is iMovie compatible? Well, uh, I'm running a pretty old version of uh, iMovies on this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm actually running 09 version 806, and it's running pretty smooth with no problem. So I'm assuming if it's capable of running version 8 with no problem, hey, go for it. Uh, is the dock changeable? Now, I don't really understand this question at all. I don't know if you mean customization, like you modifying the image files, the PNG files to change the look and feel of it. Um, they still have the little arrow that you're able to resize it from there and there. I don't know if you ask what you mean. Uh, within the doc system preferences, these are the only options that it has. But hopefully, if I don't, if that's not the answer that you're looking for, hey, let me know and I would uh, try to answer it as. 
best as I can. Uh, the next one is, do you know how to activate the black mode or the dark mode in Yosemite? Not yet. It doesn't look like Apple has enabled that feature for the developer preview, but hopefully when they do, I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, next question on the list is, can you still get Safari to full screen mode? Uh, yes, you can. So uh, you go to view, into full screen, and there you go. Uh, so I'm assuming it's shift, Apple F to get into full screen. So I don't think they, they have removed that at all. Uh, next question, how did you download? Uh, I think I already answered that for you guys. You know, again, you have to be part of the Mac developers uh, program or an Apple seed. Uh, next question is, so are you noticing any performance improvements? And I'm really hoping this update is more than new skin. Well, to be honest with you, uh, I, I have noticed some delay when I'm going online searching stuff with Safari. I don't know if it's because of the hardware. Uh, I don't think my hardware reaches the requirements that it needs to run this operating system efficiently. But again, uh, I, I've had other people that left comments on the review video and they had the same specs as my machine and the performance was pretty great. So it really depends. Uh, will Pages 09 uh, work in Yosemite? Well, uh, I do have the new versions of Pages and when I went to my ac application folder, I saw iWorks 9. Uh, iWorks 9 does work with Yosemite. I was I was kind of surprised. I don't have the full version. I have a trial-based version, but as you can see, it will launch with no problem. Uh, it, again, I think it's, it takes some time, but I was able to launch it with no problem. I'm going to do the try now, and just to let you see, like, there you go. It is working. It allows you to work, so cool. So I'm just going to create a new document and just show you that Pages is working. Again, slight delay, but other than that, I, I'm, I'm, I think the lagging and all that stuff is because of the hardware, which is going to answer the other question. Why does it look so laggy? Uh, again, I think it's the hardware that I'm running. Uh, pretty old machine. To me, to me, it's pretty old. Uh, but I think because I have, I don't have the specifications of the requirements, which is going to also answer the last question. And the last question is, please answer. Can I get on my white uh, 2009 MacBook now? On my blog site, uh, I, I did create uh, known issues, and within the known issues, there's uh, developers preview system requirements. And these are the requirements that you guys need to have to at least run 10.10 uh, uh, efficiently. You know, iMac Mint 2007 or newer. Uh, I'm assuming you want a white 2009 MacBook. So you could probably get away with it, but again, uh, make sure that you have enough memory and uh, you could probably get away with it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you have more questions about the new operating system, leave them right below. Hopefully I can answer them on the next video and I catch you guys later. Peace out.